All right, so before we set the pitch, uh, just again, make sure you're at idle up. Make sure this knob is set in the middle and you're at mid stick on the throttle stick there. Uh, also, you will need a pitch gauge to do this. If you don't have a pitch gauge and you already bought the helicopter, just go ahead and put the helicopter back on the shelf because you have to have a pitch gauge to finish setting this up. Uh, now when we adjust the pitch, we're going to be using these long links that come from the swash plate up to these little uh, mixing arms up here. And the way this works, so we've got the pitch gauge, and the way you can see here, it's got this piece to where it can snap over the blades, and then also it moves. So what happens is you snap this onto the blade, and then you want to move this part up or down until you can line up the top part of this with the fly bar. Now you want to keep the fly bar level while you adjust to see what pitch you have. Now once you get it lined up, you take a reading. Now I've already went ahead and set the pitch on this, so I know I've got zero degrees pitch. Let me see if I can go ahead and adjust the camera so you can see what I'm talking about. All right, now you can see how the top of the pitch gauge lines up with the fly bar in the back. And then you can just see the reading here. I've actually got half a degree of negative pitch. Not really worth worrying about because we're going to adjust for blade tracking here in a little bit, and we're going to end up adjusting the same links that you use to adjust for pitch. Um, so that's actually going to change a little bit, possibly. Um, but you do want to try to get that as close to being on zero degrees pitch as you can. Uh, now, if for some reason you have negative pitch, you know, too much negative pitch, and you're reading it, you know, and you got, say, negative four degrees pitch, you're going to use these long links on the front to adjust it. And if you had negative pitch, what you would want to do is you'd want to lengthen this, and that's going to push up on here, pull down on the back, and, and give you more pitch. If you want to decrease the pitch on the blades, you want to shorten this, and that's going to pull this down, pushing up on the back and giving you less pitch on the blades. Um, but do that for both blades, and after you make sure you've got zero degrees pitch on both blades, then you want to just make sure that the maximum and minimum amounts of pitch that you have is the same. So just bring it up to maximum, take a reading. It should have, uh, according to the ESCAP manual, you should have seven degrees pitch. Then you want to go down to the uh, ne maximum negative pitch you can go and take the same reading and again you should have seven degrees um, and do that for both blades and then we will come back and just check for blade tracking real quick all right before we get any further we've got one more thing to do and that is we need to set the throttle endpoints basically what we're going to do is we're just going to tell the speed controller where the bottom of the throttle stick is and where the top of it is um, so to do this it's very simple you need to go ahead make sure your transmitter is not in idle up. Make sure this switch is backwards. All right. Go ahead, turn your transmitter on, let it initialize. All right. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the throttle stick at the top. All right. So I'm just going to leave the transmitter like this for a second. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug in the helicopter. Now it's not going to do anything, but I'm still going to hold the top of it just in case. And I'll tell you what it's going to do here. I'm going to plug it in. All right. Now what it's going to do is going to do some beeping here in a second. The motor is going to make some noise. Got one beep, two beeps, three beeps, four beeps. Now we're gonna lower the throttle stick. It's gonna beep two more times. And now the speed controller knows where the bottom of the throttle stick is as well as where it is at the top. Alright, so now we have set the throttle endpoints for the speed controller. Now, one thing about the speed controller, the stock East Guy speed controller will not start spinning up the motor until the throttle stick is at about a quarter stick. Um, it's a design feature on the East Guy ESC. It does suck. Um, it's not supposed to be that way. Well, as far as like when you replace your speed controller, the blades will start spinning as soon as you start moving your throttle stick. The East Guy speed controller, that's never going to happen. It'll always be like this. So be prepared for that. Let's see here. But now when you get to about quarter throttle stick, that's when it's going to start spinning. But again, that is normal for the stock East Guy speed controller. 